What's up, everybody? It's Big Roth TV. I'm back with another sneaker video. All right? Now, look. This, this right here is crazy. I got to pull my phone out for this. All right? So I can try to show you all how ridiculous having this package today is. All right? So I got this order. I made this order on Friday. July 6th, I made this order. I'm overseas, for all of you who don't know, who haven't been following me for, for too long. I'm overseas, right? So normally, when I order something, it takes about a week and a half to two weeks to get from stateside to my location, all right? I ordered this box on Friday, July the 6th. It is right here. This is right here. That is absolutely ridiculous. That is the fastest something has shipped from the States to where I am since I have been here. Like, that's unheard of kind of speed right there. Uh, this is a package from Oneness Boutique. When I was stateside, they were equally as fast. I will order something. They're a shop in Lexington, Kentucky, where I grew up back home in Kentucky. And I would order something from them on a Saturday, Monday morning. It's at my house. It's just how they are a notoriously fast shipping company. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Ooh, I, I couldn't believe when I checked the mail today and saw this package. I, I couldn't I couldn't believe it. And man, they tape, they tape crazy. How am I supposed to get? Oh, uh, all right. I think I can cut. Boom. Boom. All right, there we go. We in here. We in there. Oh, it's two boxes. Okay. I see what they did. Boom. And then. Okay, nice packaging here. You're not trying to make sure I don't know why they my stuff. Quick, quick and good packaging. All right, so double boxing. They double boxed it. Boom, that's the top box. We get that out of here. And then here is the shoe. All right, we get that bottom box up out of here. All right, so here's the here's the, the box. Black box. Boom, see your Nike check there. On the side. Nothing, nothing, but on the top, boom, boom. We know what that logo means. Some Mamba action. So these are the Kobe One Pro Tro, all right? Wolf Gray, size 14. I, I normally say size 14, of course, but if you saw my last video, you, you would know that I have an issue with my true shoe size. So size 14, of course, since it is a Nike shoe, and I'm, uh, I guess I'm a true 13 and a half in Nike. So let's let's go with that. This is a 14. They don't usually have a 13 and a half in most Nike releases, so I go up half a size, which usually fits me well. So enough talking. Kobe One Pro Tro again, wolf gray, white, a little bit of that Carolina blue in there. Retail for these, $175. let us go ahead and get into this box. Boom. Nice, nice box. You know, all black. Whew. But of course, you all know how I do it right here on Big Roth TV. Feel good in the hands. Left shoe first, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These are the Kobe, the Kobe One Pro Tro, not retro, but the Pro Tro. Man, I wanted a pair of these, man. I was looking to get some of the Lakers colorways, but they always sold out. And I was not going to pay 
the resale for the Kobe's, man. I just couldn't get myself to do it. So let's get into some of these shout out oneness boutique yet again, man, for that extremely, extremely fast shipping. Just ridiculous shipping on these boys right here. All right, so here you go. You got some of that gray. You got some of that gray on here. Nice little new buck material going around. Not quite the suede, but a little bit of new buck action going around the side there. All right, and you got some leather hits where the white is going around there. And on the Nike check there. And of course, on the Nike check around there. On the tongue, leather as well, with your Mamba logo there. And then on the back, for what these shoes represent, the Minneapolis Lakers. And that's what that is there on the back of Minneapolis. On the inside here, from what my research tells me, the numbers that are on the inside here represent some of the players from that Minneapolis Lakers era. You got uh, 89, 19, 13, 22, 44, 17, What's this one underneath the size sticker? 25 and 22. All right, so that's what, from what my research gathers, that's what those numbers represent on the inside there. All right, so if you're not familiar, the Minneapolis Lakers wore colors that are similar to these. And every now and again, you'll see the the actual Los Angeles Lakers when they do like their retro uniforms, they'll have a nice baby blue color like this all right so this is kind of a cracked leather here if you all can see that um got another minneapolis here underneath the right there underneath the laces there and on the back up tempo y'all know i like up tempos up tempos are some of my favorite nikes and then on the bottom we got zoom air zoom air right here nike check there and then on the bot the back here we have another mamba logo there on the back so very dope man very dope shoe lightweight these are supposed to be a retro of the shoe but a performance retro so that they just took the same kobe one from back in the day and made it up to date as far as the materials for the performance, the tech, the performance tech for today. So that's why they are called the Pro Trolls instead of just, hey, here's this old shoe we brought back for you to wear that you can't play ball in. These are intended for you to get out on the court and still be able to play just like you could when these initially released. So, no, we gotta do, man. Let's go ahead and put these boys on feet. All right, so. These are what I was wearing today. My Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Paul George Kicks PG2s. Let's get those out the way. Brush off the kicks or the feet and slide on the kicks. Boom. Left shoe on. All right. Now let's slide on the righty. I like that they have that opening in the back that makes it easier to grip it for, you know, like your pull tongue, almost like a pull strap in the back. Makes it really easy to slide onto your feet. My feet went right on in there. Lace these up. I like these laces. I don't think I mentioned that before. Kind of a thicker rope lace. I like that. I like that. Kind of reminds me of the laces that comes on the Jordan 11. Really nice laces on these. All right. So, boom, got them laced up. Boom. On feet action. All right, so let's give it a fit test. My pinky toe is like here on these, right? It's like right here. My big toe, I don't know if you all can see that, 
but my big toe is right here. It is right there. All right, so here it is again, man. I say my true size is a 13 and a half. A 13 and a half will be too tight in this shoe. It will be way too tight. So this 14, this 14 feels perfect. I don't know what's up with shoes. <laughs> I don't understand the sizes. You know what I mean? But this is a size 14. And this specific shoe, it feels absolutely perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect, size 14. This fits like these, both of these two shoes. These are size 13 and a half. Both of these PG2s, 13 and a half. That's how this size 14 fits in this Kobe. It's crazy. But let's go ahead and get a little bit of that booty view. Give y'all a little bit of that booty view yes sir yeah man that is a great i mean it's a perfect fit it's a perfect fit i could not go down half a size in these i couldn't they're they'd be too tight on the toes so 14 it is and these kobe's I, I guess i guess my true size i don't know what that means for me so <laughs> Shoes are just fitting so differently across the board. I don't know what my exact true size is, but I can tell you These are comfortable. So if you can find them somewhere go try them on man. Try them on that'll be the best judgment But anyway, that's gonna do it man. Definitely a dope shoe and definitely definitely feel better with a size 14 I could not have gone down half a size to get a size 13 and a half in these. So a 14 in this case is the true size for me. So um, if you have a little bit of a wider foot, I guess that might be part of the issue, but I would not, I would not at all go down half a size in these. 14 for me, definitely the right size. Um, but anyway, man, that's gonna do it. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. Lots more content on the way. I'm actually in the middle of filming another one as we speak. Like, I took a break from filming another video over there to film this video. So, uh, more content is definitely on the way. And I have one, two, three pairs of Jordan 1s to review including two that finish a certain collection that I started to end last year. I finally have the other two in this collection to finish off the set. So we'll get into those and I'll holler at you all in the next video. Peace.